All right, so real quick, this is the spreadsheet. And so when you open the spreadsheet, it just should look like this. Um, I did try to lock it, but I think that like upset people. The only reason why I lock it is because if you change anything or mess anything up on it, it can actually throw me off. So please do not make any changes to the spreadsheet. Um, just email me. But if you look on this column right here, these are student names alphabetically. And then this is Monday morning. So like I was thinking first through third hour. And this is Monday afternoon, fourth through seventh. Morning on Tuesday, um, afternoon on Tuesday, morning on Wednesday, afternoon on Wednesday. Here's a key to help some of the longer teachers' names like Zemeckis and Zolchak I gave a little abbreviation for because I couldn't fit your whole name in there clearly. Uh, but for everything else, so you just go to, okay, what student did I pick? If I picked Dalton, you would go to him and be like, okay, Purdue is right. It's fifth hour. But here, I noticed Purdue needs to actually move that to the side right here. But um, little errors like that, don't worry about telling me about things like that. But if you notice something like, for example, you did not want your this student to shadow you during an hour and I accidentally typed that in, let me know. Um, I'm going to be handwriting these schedules out. So the sooner I know these errors, the quicker I can fix it before everything's made into a master copy. Um, some of the kids are going to the Lincoln Center. And so 18 kids are going in the morning, 18 kids in the afternoon each day of the week. Also, students are going to Jefferson. If you see last names of teachers you don't recognize, it's because those are teachers from Jefferson who have signed up to work with our kids. PE has also offered to shadow a lot of students. The cafeteria has also offered for students to shadow them during the seventh and the sixth grade months, which is excellent. Our maintenance staff has offered to shadow, as well as the Warrior Closet has offered for students to do service jobs and our kitchen. So it's gonna be a really great week for the kids. Hopefully, um, I tried to give every kid something. If the kids did not have a permission slip, they got the least because they put the least effort into it. But the kids with the permission slip um, did get a lot. And every kid, I think when I looked down the list, my goal was that they at least had things going on that week. Every kid will be going to 7-Eleven on Friday, 6th and 7th hour, so one of those two hours. And every kid will see a movie 4th and 5th hour on Thursday. So we really tried to spread out the events and when they happen so that it wasn't too heavily missing one hour. Unfortunately, it does seem that second and third hour are more common hours to miss based on the schedule of the Lincoln Center and Jefferson and also um, sixth and seventh or fifth and sixth. So sorry for our sixth and seventh, but fourth and fifth weren't as common. That's why we put the movie in fifth and fifth, um, for the majority of it. But I like this head right here. Harder, I'll try to plug in something else for him. But just an idea of what this looks like. You just scroll down. The spreadsheet just helps me because I can quickly look at it, add time spots. I like to see things like the big picture, and this really helps me um, analyze all of this information. So, again, I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thanks for signing up for a student. And if you need any further help, just email me. Please don't edit this uh, document.